Hi there, it's Ashbury from In-House Solutions with a video in what's new with 2026. And in this level, we're going to focus on the level manager. So you can see it's uh, quite a bit different than what they're used to in Mastercam 2025 and previous versions. But there's a ton of functionality in here that we can get into and talk about it now. So let's talk about just in terms of general search functions. If you type in jobs, it'll show you all the levels of the job. So this was a quick way to get into um, the levels of which you want to search by name. Um, the other thing that we can do here is we can go underneath each level and it tells you which entities of which type are inside each level. So this has 575 levels, or sorry, entities, and it's got all these different entities that make up that number. The other thing that we can do from inside here is we can select all our wireframe, or anything for that matter. We can select it all, and then we can just move it to a different level. And we'll call that a wireframe. So there's my W frame level. And I'll do the same thing with my surface here. And I'll just move it to a different level. Call it 10,002, and we'll call it surface. So here you can see inside my wireframe, I have arcs, lines, and splines. I have surfaces over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the grouping functionality of um, the main reason that they've modified this is to make the grouping function really handy. So I'm going to go ahead and make a group here. And I'll call this part to machine. And I'm going to take my surface, my wireframe, and my machine part. And I'm just going to drag it into there. So you can see here now I have a, something I can collapse to clean up my level manager. The other thing I can do is if I want to put my vice stuff on a level, if I just go here and just search for vice, anything with the word vice shows up, and I can just say, hey, I'll click anything, and I'll say group, and I'll just rename this. So the other thing nice is you can just have two standard Windows rename and call it vice. And if I get rid of this, you'll see I have my vice stuff and my part to machine stuff, and I have jaw stuff here as well. So I'll just make another level here, or another group. And I'll call it jaw. And I'll grab my bolt and my serrated jaw. And now you can see very nicely and cleanly, my level manager is uh, way more simple and more concise. So, you know, you could always make active. You can always, all the stuff that you have from before is available to you as well. But it's a nice, quick, and easy way to filter and limit what you see in the level manager, which can be kind of confusing at times. It can be a lot of stuff going on there. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll uh, talk soon.